morning everyone welcome back to a vlog i haven't done one of these in a good old time definitely haven't done one since the lockdown i can't even remember when the last one was but i think now that i'm in some sort of routine and i'm not anxious out of my mind i'm in the space like in the mental space to do one of these so yeah and maybe just give you a little bit of i mean mainly for myself as well like i've been seeing other people doing like their lockdown routine and like just talking about what they've been keeping busy doing and i think in like years to come it'll be interesting to look back at this time and be like oh yeah that happened that was crazy this is what we did because honestly i actually forget like when i look back at some vlogs i'm like i would have forgotten about this happening 100 percent if i didn't film it so that's kind of sad so I'm gonna film everything going on today. All I've done is woken up and Adam's been up for like three hours I would assume and he's working from home so he's literally just working through that little door there and every morning he's been coming in with a cup of tea or coffee which is like the best thing about this whole lockdown situation. Also the company's all right I suppose. So weather's been really nice, um, which has really helped this whole situation, I guess. I mean, in some cases it has. Nice weather is mean it is, is making people think that they can still go out and see their friends and their family and enjoy the weather in like local parks and stuff, which is just irritating me because those people are the ones who are complaining that this lockdown is taking too long. You're the reason why it's taking so long. But anyway, I'm going to have a sip of my coffee because Adam's tried putting golden syrup in it. <laughs> I've had honey and coffee before, and that was all right. I mean, it actually doesn't taste too different from just like coffee with sugar in. <laughs> my usual routine, I wake up, first thing I do is check my phone. I know that's supposed to be not good for you, but honestly, I would just sleep until like 3 p.m. if I couldn't do that. <laughs> it wakes me up, whatever, whether it's unhealthy. And then I roll on to the dining room, which is where Adam is, and we have a little embrace i tweeted the other day about how the fact that we uh, get all excited when we haven't been in the same room for a few hours we're like excited dogs anyway how are you getting on with your partners have you had rows yet are you annoyed with their face have you decided to change your space of isolation halfway through because you can't stand it <laughs> The weather out there is lovely again, so sometimes if I'm doing something that isn't like heavily screen based, so even if I'm using my computer a little bit, it's fine, or like if I'm just typing things up, that's fine. If I'm editing photo wise or video wise, that's not usually fine, but <laughs> I will sit outside sometimes. Obviously the reason why it's not fine is because I can't see the screen because the sun. My laptop, even though it's, it cost an arm and leg, it's shit. <laughs> No, it's not shit, it's lovely, I love her. But um, it was not, not very good in the sun. Like, I know that some Mac screens can have this thing where you like, I think it's called matte something, and you put that on the screen and it makes it like easy to see in the sun. Mine's not, however. But anyway, if I'm doing like readings or if I'm typing stuff up, doing emails, then I will sit out there and do them there because it's just really nice. Our little flat is like a sun trap because you've got the, the high fencing, which not a lot of people do in this area, I've noticed. It keeps me, us away from the wind. The wind doesn't hit off our 
yard. So it gets really, really hot. This isn't what most of you would call a tan, but for me, I actually do have a bit of brown on me and my freckles have come out and that's the main goal. Those little stones over there, we've been um, actually digging, digging up so we can put them in our front yard. And as you can see, the wall that's left is a little bit um, dirty and a bit sad for itself. So I'm gonna ask our landlord if she would mind if we painted it white. I can't imagine her saying no, because we're doing her a favor at the end of the day. But the stones were just kind of piled up against that wall when we moved in. I don't know how many of you guys remember my um, flat tour when we first moved in, but they were just shoved up against there. I imagine they were all over the yard before, but because I go out all the time in socks, at my garden at home which i've been which i lived in for like my entire life i never went out in that garden in shoes ever it was always bare feet and socks and that was for like 23 years so i figured here i'm gonna do the exact same so that's why um instead of like smearing the stones back to the yard uh we just decided to move them to the front garden and smear them all over there because we don't walk out in the front garden um because it's just like this little bay window area um but i do need to uh, get some seeds soon to plant them so that's exciting um i am doing a little video for all of that if any of you care As you know, I got the jawbreaker at Christmas, so it's like six months ago now, and I've only just started using Gumdrop, this colour here, and I avoided it because it's quite chalky, I know it straight away. It's a nice colour, but it's very, very chalky, but I used it the other day, and so many people have been saying, like, what's that on your eye? Today I'm going to do it with F-U-C-K, not going to say that out loud. You can't really see, this is terrible lighting. Why is there so much hair on our coffee table, Adam? If I'm not going out anywhere, I just literally whack on a makeup look that um, might go wrong, because I don't really care. If I'm going out, then I get all my brushes out and go a little bit more out there, but it's still, look, look at that. I don't think I've actually used this color before, but I've kind of been avoiding going underneath my eye recently, um, because every time I do, it just makes my eyes look absolutely tiny, like little pinpricks. So we want to open them up a little bit by avoiding that. I think going underneath your eye looks cool if you're going for like more of a smoky, dark look, but this is very bright. Oh, look at this combo. Now I'm just going to add a bit of mascara. Um, and I've actually been putting, I've been uh, experimenting with false eyelashes recently. So I'm going to put, put them on um, and then plan my day ahead. Da da. Who does that sound like? Da na. Is that uh, Miranda Sings? Hey! Na na! <laughs> I used to do that. Na na! I used to do it. Come on then. Ta da! <laughs> right, so this is the part of the day where I do two things. First one is I get my little psychic predictions diary and I write about my day yesterday. As you can see here, I do this literally every single day. It's my way and a lot of people's way of practicing tarot, actually. It's probably one of the most common ways to get to know your cards. Um, it's quite recently, and I'm gonna do an unboxing of this. I'm just trying to get used to it first. Mm. I got this tiny little tarot deck, so I started using this for my practices. And actually, the very first day I used this, it felt very like, I mean, I could tell by the illustrations, it was like a cheeky little kit, a uh, cheeky little kit. It's called the complete kit, which is why I just call it that. Cheeky deck in the sense of the, some of the drawings seem sarcastic or like children's illustrations or something like that. There's something about it that just, that really drew me in. And I'm really fussy with my tarot decks. Like most people collect decks just for the sake of it. And they have like 70 of them and they've spent like thousands of pounds. I mean, do you, but I think that's bonkers. I have to go through every single card. Like I look at, unboxings on YouTube. I look at what people are saying. I look at the thickness of the card, like, you know, the finish of it. I want to know what the book says, like the book it comes with, like, is that any good? I want to know about the artist. And then if everything's good, I buy it. And this one, I loved everything about it. And because it's so small and it's like 20 years old, it was like five pound or seven pound or something like that. So I was like, okay, this is a no brainer. I have to get it. Obviously I consider price as well. So if I don't like the price and I'm not, not buying the deck. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I've been practicing with this and I've noticed that with this deck in particular, it's very literal. So for example, right, those of you who know tarot, 
10 of wands that can just be like a heavy burden in life so maybe you have to do a lot of things for your nan and your mum and your little brother and your boyfriend all at the same time that day you know you've got loads of to-do lists for other people <laughs> you're overburdened well when i had that um it also came out with a, a page of swords which is about like using a new idea to sort your problems. So I pulled those cards out and I was like, well, heavy burden using a new idea to sort them out. Well, that same day, <laughs> basically me and Adam don't drive. So we had a lot of shopping, which we always do when we go to Asda to take back with us. And obviously like there's only so much two little humans can carry. So we have to bear that in mind when we shop. It hurts our back, well, my back mainly because I'm a weakling and my little arms and my muscles and stuff. And what we decided to do that day was to bring a suitcase shopping instead, which we haven't done before as like a way to help us like cope a, bit, cope a bit more. So that was literal heavy burden rather than like an emotional heavy burden or like to-do lists or something like that. That was literally holding a lot of things and finding a new way to combat that. So I'm waffling, but now I'm just gonna pull my card for the day, write down what it is and what I think it's gonna mean. And then by this evening, I can write down how it was linked to that card, what it actually meant in the end. That adds some personal connection to your card. So next time you see that card, you'll say, ah, 10 of wands, heavy burdens. Be careful what you carry today. Do you get what I'm saying? And then this is my weekly planner. And obviously today is Tuesday. God, I feel like days don't feel like days right now. <laughs> it could be a Saturday right now and I would have no idea. I'm just gonna chick, chick it, <laughs> chick it. Check off the things that I done yesterday and push them down here if I didn't do some of them and write down the stuff I need to get done today, so. Hello. How are you? You probably won't recognise me in my hair. Hello. Oh. oh. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Vicky. Everyone. I'm zooming in on Vicky. My it's name fun. Is Vicky. I'm on Instagram as Vix Tricks. So if you want to try me out. <laughs> <laughs> lovely well done so this is my new facebook group i'll leave a link down there to it but it's basically a place for me to put everything obviously tarot related but also like spiritual and star signs and like tarot or star signs or spiritual memes fun things i found kind of that way inclined i suppose like there's going to be a mixed bag of stuff on here but it's basically so i don't bombard people on my youtube facebook page with that kind of stuff who aren't very interested in that so if you are interested in all of that kind of stuff then definitely do that but that's just something i wanted to mention while i get ready for a reading i'm gonna blur all this out so people can't see i'm about to do one now and obviously i go into my messages on there that's my facebook page is where you can um book readings now if you want one and, and over here is my little um diary for that i put people's names in of who i need to read still and that's the date today so i'm gonna do maybe like maybe a couple of these now that will probably take around about two hours reading is done it's really nice i really enjoy reading outside it's just a lot more like i feel a lot more connected with the cards that sounds a bit cringe but 
everyone has their own little like um i don't know place of rest i don't know what i'm saying place of rest isn't that where you die place uh, <laughs> where you just feel like more spiritual i suppose but anyway um a little while ago well actually a little while ago literally two days ago i handed in a bunch of photos for a photo project that i'm doing so basically a friend of mine from uni who uh carried on doing uni after i graduated to get her um what's it called masters she's now a teacher at the uni i was at and she decided to do little tasks for um some people if they wanted to feel some inspiration and motivation around the whole lockdown situation <laughs> she basically said she's gonna email us all like a bunch of tasks and our task this time was just the topic rainbow and we had to like basically take a load of photos uh each rep each photo representing a different color of the rainbow and i really miss that the most like when i think of uni and what i miss the most about uni other than the people <laughs> I always miss the like week projects we used to do so like every week we got given like a word or a theme or a style of photography and we had to like go away and then come back the next week and like present it and I really missed that so when, she, when I saw she was doing that I was like please sign me up because I just really enjoy doing that so that means that I have like seven well actually five because I didn't do every day of the week she said basically do what you can like whatever your schedule allows you to do so now I've got like a load of cool photos from that project stocked up, um, ready to, look how cool that one is, to upload on my Instagram, if I must say so myself. Um, which is like one of the main reasons why I wanted to do it. Like I said to her, I hope you don't mind, but all of mine's going to be like self-portrait because I, I need this to motivate me uh, for my Instagram. And she was like, that's fine. And obviously she's basing them around the house, around the home, and like that's also what i do as well like even without a lockdown i mean that's very me i'm a hermit crab i like my home and i like my content about the home i'm gonna upload the reason why i waffled all of that is because i'm gonna upload one of those photos now from instagram it's so nice having stock um and then i'm gonna edit a my hair dye video now adam's finished work boop, 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 boop. So he signed off I'm just gonna chill out now. Um, I've been editing for about half an hour. Look at my blonde hair there. It doesn't even look like me, does it? Um, and I'm gonna have a little bit of a break. Dun dun dun. So I've been playing Dead by Daylight with Adam. Why not with Adam? Actually, we have been playing together on our phones, but we take it in turns to play this on the PlayStation during our downtime. Um, obviously you guys saw me play it for the first time as a video not long ago. Um, and I feel like I've gotten better now. It's all dark in here now because Adam's closed the blinds as he's working out next to me, naked. Whoa, you're swinging your big wheelie around. I get such satisfaction from doing these. <gasps> oh, see, bang in. I still lose my absolute soul when I uh, have to do it though because I panic every single time. Yeah, doing generators on this game is like scratching an itch. I love it. Ooh. I feel like I'm very good at like running around and dedicating my life to uh, these generators. Hey, hey. Nice, we've got two left already and we've been playing for what? Less than three minutes. Wow. Shit, son. On my way, sugar plum. Oh, someone's rescuing him. Okay, they died straight away. Shit. Shit! <laughs> Hi, big boy! Aww. <laughs> Yesterday I had spaghetti bolognese and it was amazing, so I'm gonna have the same thing. I actually use this plant-based meat-free mince. It's no soya. Oyster mushrooms um, instead. And I tried this because I've been having the uh, corn minced meat for literally years now, like 
way before I was veggie and it's getting a little bit, I guess a bit samesy, a bit boring. Um, so I wanted to try something different. It did look rather realistic in the packaging. So I was very intrigued by it. Uh, it's literally as its own, but it was a little bit expensive for what it is. But I don't know if that's just because I'm a stingy bitch. Somebody come get her. She's dancing like a stripper. That does look so much like mints, like more than any other veggie alternative I've seen. Like that looks pretty, pretty real. Does it? I don't know. And I'm going to put it with this, my mushroom tomato pasta sauce. I usually have this with my bolognese and it's delicious. Um, I really like melted cheese, mozzarella cheese on the actual like spaghetti part, like the pasta part, and then the sauce like goes somewhere else. I don't, for some reason I prefer melted cheese on top of pasta and not the sauce. Adam's got some... Pork medallions. Pork something. Medallions. Medallions. Metal medallions. Oh, very nice. I'm sprinkling some cheese in the spaghetti while it's still hot. I had to mix off camera because I don't have many, many hands like an octopus. You have to use mozzarella, by the way, because it's the best cheese ever. Right, Genie? It's the best cheese ever. He's like, cheese! Da da! Looks yummy! So, got me food. And choice of entertainment tonight is Afterlife, episode three, season two. I've got mixed opinions about the first season. Adam loved the first season. I think I'm preferring the second season more, but things could change. What's the sort of humor? Cru not crude, dark humor. It's not focusing on me. That's dark humor. A series that I finished that I really enjoyed and I would recommend was Pure, or as Adam would call it, Pure. Really good, a friend recommended it and it's about, I don't want to give too much away, but it's about basically about a girl who has OCD and she tries to reinvent herself by moving like across the country um, and try and get over her OCD. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. But it's very kind of witty. I think the humor is an awkward humor. It kind of reminds me of like, see I really like Inbetweeners because Inbetweeners humor is like awkward humor and it's like relatable humor. So it kind of reminded me of that mixed with like sex education maybe because it's very sexual based. Bonjour. Uh, my eyes look funny because I've taken off my eyelashes. <laughs> it's just such a satisfying feeling. Anyway, I've been spending a few hours actually writing out some kind of um, plan for a video I've got. There's a lot of writing here. Um, and I don't often plan YouTube videos, but I have a fun idea. <laughs> Those of you who uh, care and or are interested, I do still use my makeup eraser. I actually got sponsored by them, which was probably one of the best sponsors I've ever had. I know I often say that, but like, the next one always trumps my last one. But this is just so good. It looks really grubby. It actually kind of looks like this permanently now because, I mean, I've used it a few times. It smells fresh. It's like all freshly washed, but I've kind of stained it for life. I usually, I used to use two makeup wipes every day. And honestly, if you do your research, look up how many uh, makeup wipes are thrown a day. Um, it will put you off using them. So get one of these. This is by Makeup Eraser, and you just basically get some hot water, rinse it off a bit, hold it over your eye, you don't need to do it hard, a gentle little rub over my eyebrow, I mean that's the majority of it off. I haven't even used any like products, chemical products or anything like that. So it's good for the skin, good for the environment it just feels nice as well like it's nice to put a hot towel on my face at night time i think i'd probably use it if i've got heavy makeup on i'd probably use it like five times and then you pop it in your wash 
but every time I put the washing machine on, I always bung that in every single time. Like even if I've just used it once, it goes in because it may as well. Night, night, sleep tight. Hope the bed bugs do not bite. If they do, do a poo. Put it in a Cornish stew. Into the ambulance. Drink, drink, drink. Fish trousers, elephant in Peking. Saw a busy bee. Diddle, diddle, dee. Daddy's an accountant just like me. Night, night. God bless. Name the reference, 10 points if you get it. Write it in the comments. <laughs> My favorite bit is Diddly Lee. Let me say it as well. Diddly yeah. Diddly Lee. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. If you want, you can join my social media such as Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I've got a Patreon if you want to support me on there. I also stream live on you now if you want to join me on there. <laughs> and subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified. Right, Sheila? Right. Thank you. Say night, Adam. Good night.